Let's have some fun with some tangents and normals. Um, uh, you don't know this, but this is iconic. Iconic. It's a hyperbola. It's a math C hyperbola, specialist hyperbola. And we're wanting quadrant. So let's just say there's five. Quadrant four means I'm down here. So we're looking at some sort of function that looks like that. There's our, there's our tangent there. You're not to know that and you don't really care. You don't, you don't need that. Um, okay. We want to need a, we need a gradient function because a tangent is in the form y equals mx plus c. We need to find that m. Um, so let's get rid of this guff that we don't really know, but it's was nice. Okay. Uh, 2x on 16 is just going to be... Gosh, that's going well so far. X on 8. Let's write it like that. Minus uh, 2 ninths y do y dx. <coughs> when that comes over, there's going to be a negative, but the double negative will make that go. Um, so what's uh, 1 on 8? 1 divided by 8 divided by 2 divided by 9. 9x on <coughs> 16y. So there's our gradient function. Now we want to pop into that x equals 5. So our slope, which is dy dx, will be 9 times 5 on 16 times... Ooh! We need to find that y, don't we? So we're going to put that 5 into here. 25 on 16. And we're going to get y equals... Okay, so 25... Minus 1, multiply by 9, and we're going to get 81. So y squared is 81 on 16, so y will be 9 on 4, plus or minus. But remember, we wanted it in quadrant 4, so it'll be this minus 9 on 4. So there's our y. Uh, again, calculate a city. 45 and we get 5 on 4 so y equals minus and then we have this point um, 5 and this minus 9 on 4 that goes through the tangent so must satisfy the equation because it lies on the line so c equals minus 9 plus equals 4 there we go plus 4 there's a job for you check that that's right so you're going to jump into Desmos plot that Plot that, and hopefully it's a tangent where x is 5. If, if it's wrong, let me know. Oh, okay, determine the normal gradient to the curve. So you'd understand that uh, all of that y equals mx plus c thing really isn't the hard bit. So this is just finding, can we, can we work out what the gradient of the curve is and find the normal, which is a bit quicker. You can see before we differentiate, we could expand that. So 2x to the 4 Oops, minus. And clearly that 2 can di just distribute through there. And what we're going to see there is there is a product rule, an implicit differentiation product rule. So that is a task for you. You are going to do that one yourself. 
and make sure you get the same answer as I do here. I'll leave that there. I am going to do that by using the, the chain rule here. So I'm thinking uh, y equals 2u squared, where u equals. So I've got 4u, so dy, that's dy du, and then I've got 2x plus 2y dy dx. I couldn't write that any smaller, could I? But anyway, okay. So when we differentiate that, I'm going to have dy du, which is 4u, and u is x squared plus y squared, uh, times du dx, which is 2x plus 2y. And then I'm going to differentiate that, which is this thing over here. Uh, 50x minus... Okay. So we either have to expand brackets there, or we have to expand brackets here. We're expanding brackets somewhere anyway. Let's go. 4. Plus 2y. Crab Claw City. Uh, so you can see here that we've got those dy dx's that we want to group on the left hand side. We've got a four here outside a bracket. I'm going to split that into two twos. One of the twos I'm going to slip into that bracket, and one of the twos I'm going to divide by, just to just to simplify that a little bit. So let's go um, four. Plus four. We could have done this and grouped them at the same time. I divide by two to get rid of the other one. I'm not wanting to do too much in one line because I'm probably going to get it wrong. I reckon in the exam you should do everything in one line and see how you go. So again, I've got these to dx's. Let's pop them over to the left hand side. So I'm going to get a big bracket. And then plus, I'm going to factorise. And then I'm going to leave that 25x there and get everything else on the other side. What else have I got? That thing there, minus 4. So, 25x. I want to find the slope where the book's been really good to us. We've got a whole point three one, so I'm just going to make x three at the slope is. numbers in there. Plus four times one cubed plus you know what this is sort of just taking up your time isn't it? So what should we press stop there? I think so. I'm slow on this thing. I'm probably going to get it wrong anyway. 4 times 3 squared. 4 times 1 <laughs> plus 25. 
Let's see how I go. I'm pretty sure I've keyed something in there wrong. Anyway, I'm, I'm sure you'll work it out. The uh, differentiation is the important bit. The important bit is that thing there. We've got to make sure that we can get that thing right. Okay, go 